we will see in this class how to work with precision points, which facilitate the insertion and positioning of geometries in the project. To get started, open the available file. AutoCAD has a feature called Object Snap, which is formed by points located along geometries. Indicating, for example, the midpoint, center point, and end point of a geometry. To enable and disable this feature, we click on this option from the status bar, or we press F3. But it is not enough just to activate this feature, we must configure it. To do this, we click this arrow next to the icon and, in the menu that opens, select the most used points. Another way to configure this command is to click on Object Snap Settings in this same menu. In the box that opens, we select the points that will be used and confirm by clicking OK. Before confirming, let's get to know each of these points. Endpoint indicates the points of the ends of linear elements and arches. Midpoint indicates the midpoint of the linear elements and arcs. Center and geometric center indicate the central point of circumferences or elements composed of polylines, where the geometric center is specified. The node option allows you to capture points on the screen. Quadrant displays the points of the quadrants of a circumference. Intersection and apparent intersection indicate the intersection points between two geometries, and the second option displays the apparent intersections between objects. The apparent intersections are the extensions of the entities that will be used as a reference for obtaining the precision point. The extension option displays a temporary extension of any type of object allowing you to capture points along this extension. Note that extensions displayed in the appeal intersection and extension precision points are displayed correctly when the object snap tracking function is disabled, see. Insertion allows you to capture insertion points of blocks, attributes or text. Perpendicular indicates points that form a 90 degree angle to the geometry being inserted. Tangent, in turn, highlights the points of tangency in a circumference, ellipse, arc, or other geometry composed of curves. Nearest highlights the points close to the entities that make up the project. Finally, we have the point of precision that restricts linear objects to being parallel to another linear element. It is important to note that in order to facilitate the design, we must select only the most important options for the work to be carried out. We set the feature as shown and confirm. Another feature that greatly facilitates project development is Object Snap Tracking, which creates a virtual path from one or more previously selected precision points. This feature is enabled by means of this option in the status bar, or by clicking F11. See that it is now easier to trace the other views of the project by capturing the precision points of the already traced front view. And using the paths created from this point of precision.
Here we conclude this lesson, where we learn about precision points, which facilitate the insertion and positioning of geometries in the project.